fucking spit it and then came back and ate it. You ought to see the screen. Oh, yeah. Ugh. All right, so I am in the truck here with my buddy Dustin Gillen, Dusty Fish Co. on YouTube. We are headed to Destin, Florida right now to link up with Captain Ryan Reed of Badland Charters. And we are gonna be pushing about, what, 20, 30 miles offshore today? Yep, that's the plan. So, grouper, B-liners, AJ, like it's it's all a on possibility. Yep, hopefully I'll be able to put together a catch and cook for y'all. That's the plan today. We're gonna be out there, have us a great day on the water. Y'all stay tuned, see if we make something happen. y'all we just made it out to our first spot we're about 75 foot of water as you can see our structure down here it's a pretty decent sized structure definitely got some marks on it we're gonna drop down a slow pitch g to get started see what we catch all right y'all we're gonna be starting off with this catch co 100 gram squid jig it might be a little too light we'll see what the current looks like and make a swap if we need to I like to play oh we're on we're tight oh big fish big fish Big fish. That's a big one. Mm, we just got tight, y'all. Come on. Dude, that's a big fish. He came up midways in the column. God. Mm. Dude, he's tight. I ain't got but 40 pound test on here. No. Give me that back. Mm, give me that back. I did make a swap over to the Shimano butterfly jig and we have moved on to a couple different spots right now. We're in 200 foot of water fishing. Bad word. Fishing natural bottom. And uh, <laughs> that was the first drop. Incredible. That was a big fish, man. What do you yeah. think that was? I don't know, man. It's probably an AJ or a big roof or what? Halfway up? Hard to say. I mean. Hey, that's what you're gonna get when you're sitting out here slow pitch jigging. It is a lighter tackle. It's a ton of fun. We're gonna retie, drop back down. Hopefully we can duplicate that and uh, get a fish on board for y'all. Also, while I'm sitting here retying, Dusty just hooked up right after I lost mine. I'm trying to get Nathan's jig back for it. Like an AJ. Oh, AJ. There we go. Oh man, I oh. thought you had a big fish. <laughs> so maybe, maybe yeah. it was the AJ that broke me off. All right, we have retied on another Shimano G. This is a 160 gram G, exactly what I threw last time and got broke off on. Let's see if we can not lose another jig today. Oh, I got snagged. Doubled up, baby. We are good. Mm, I was trying to get my line in to get out of your way and I got snagged. I can't stop the fish. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Come on. Get up. That's a big fish. I can't stop him. Come on, there we go. I can't stop this fish. Dude, that is not feeling like an AJ. I bet it is though. Come on. Oh, it's a giant fish. Alright, we can go back to catching mingos after this. Holy mother. Woo! Come on. Come on, baby. Hey, guys, y'all want to come out? Hey, guys, y'all want to come out and then the ride? There we go. He's coming my way. No, he's not. There we go. No, wrong way. Oh, oh, oh. Dang it. Get up. Get up. I'm gonna get mine, Dusty. Come on. Oh, he's dumping again. Stop. Please tell me the hook pulled. I want my jig back. Well, <laughs> there went jig number two, y'all. Incredible, pulled up on this spot. 
immediately, immediately just getting wrecked. Probably giant AJ. Captain Ryan did say there's possibility some Wahoo hanging down there, some other stuff, but just incredible. I'm gonna tie back on, we're gonna try it again, see if we can land one. Try not to snag the bottom again there, fella. <laughs> Drop three, jig number three. <laughs> see if we can land one this time. Oh, I got the jig back. Oh, we're on. We're tight. Good gracious. Man, we're on just some giant fish. There it went. All right, jig number four about to go down. <laughs> down there we go mm. get your butt up we're cranking this wind right, we got one on over here mm. Mm. slamming me big fish as they all have been that's why i like that speed master put it in low and go Ah, little old AJ. Still an awesome fight, y'all. Oh my goodness. Well, that right there is one of the fish that we came out here to get. Y'all see how tiny that AJ is right there and how much he dogged on that big setup with 80 pound test. This is incredible. We'll go ahead and launch him back down. Y'all, that is some of the most fun you can have, but you better not do it unless you've been in the gym because it is exhausting. We're in 200 foot of water. Just working the jig up and down takes a lot of effort. And then when they snatch it, I mean, those AJ are the most powerful fish out here in the Gulf. And uh, man, even a little one like that will exhaust you, put up a pretty good fight. We're gonna go ahead, drop back down, see if we can catch something bigger. All right, y'all, so there is non-stop action on this spot, but we are getting ready to make a move a couple miles on down and fish a shipwreck. We have been on natural bottom here, but today we are on Captain Ryan Reed's boat back here. Never been out with him before. This is the first time for me, uh, but Captain started him a YouTube channel, Badland Charters. He also runs a charter company out of Destin, Florida. I will link all of his information down below, but if y'all would, please head over to his channel, give him a subscribe, give him some likes, show him some love. He's out here just taking us around Destin today. First time fishing offshore in Destin. So yeah, man, I appreciate the invite. Hey, you're welcome, man. Also, uh, when I hit 2,000 subscribers on Facebook and on YouTube, I'm giving away a free four hour charter out of Destin. So y'all come on over and uh, maybe we can get Nathan to come out here and film it for you too. That's right. Yeah, nonstop, I would highly recommend hitting them up, doing a charter. I mean, dude, this is crazy action out here. But yeah, he's telling us that we're going to a better spot now. See y'all there. We just pulled up to the spot. I don't know if y'all can see that. We're in 300 foot of water and that screen is just lit up. We're about to get wrecked. We're over here fishing the Mariana Trench. <laughs> Let's see. We got mm, we're on. We're tight. There we go. Mm, big fish. Big fish. Oh, he's digging on me. <clears throat> Bad word. Really? All right. Well, after losing five thousand dollars worth of jigs, <laughs> we're now giving up the jigs. We're gonna go to some live bait. Drop a chicken rig down. See if we can get us some meat. We do have a special catch and cook planned for y'all at the end of this video. Now we need to try to get us some meat. So we're gonna drop down. So we make that happen. No more donating our hard-earned money to these uh, AJ sharks, whatever they are. So we got a chicken rig rigged up right there. Just got us a little bit of cut bait. Real simple, we're just gonna send it down to the bottom. And we are gonna be looking for some mingos or bee liners, vermilion snapper, whatever you wanna call them. That's what we're trying to catch here. There we go. Fish on, y'all. All right, that's feeling like the right species to eat. It was a double up. I should still have mine on. Looking for it to be something small and red. And it is. All right, that may be a legal beeliner right there. If it is, it's barely legal. They gotta be eight inches to keep. 
10. 10 inches, I'm sorry. Yeah, Definitely. That right there is a vermilion snapper and these guys are absolutely delicious. Got them. Got them. All right, guys, that's what you're doing for those two. <laughs> Looks like it's a mango. All right. Oh, what is this? That is a, uh, that's a cute, is that the Cuban fish? Let's see. Yep, Cuban hogfish. So I am told by Captain Ryan that this is a Cuban or a Spanish hogfish. Beautiful fish. First time ever catching this. It's tiny, but we can call this a PB, right? We got to start somewhere. <laughs> but look, these guys have got some gnarly, gnarly teeth. Almost like they got several different fangs in there. Look like they're uh, used to maybe grab stuff out of the rocks down on bottom. But yeah, I'm told that this is a keeper. Yep. Yep. And they're good to eat. They are. Well, we're going to be trying this guy. So he is going in the box. So that is one of the reasons why we love coming offshore because you truly never know what you're going to pull up. The whole time we're thinking bee liner or grunt ruby red lips something like that we knew it was small but bring it up and it's a fish we've never even seen before so always cool coming out here catching new things we're gonna read back up drop down see if we can catch us a vermilion because we do want to eat tonight all right drop him back down come on there he is there he is that's feeling like a bee liner right there yeah that's a bee liner that might be a decent one he's there we've doubled up Oh, you got a good the old bee liner. Right, Starting to put some fish in the box, y'all. That felt like a bee liner. That's feeling like a bee liner. There he is. Yeah. Y'all, I know a lot of people go crazy over red snapper and stuff and i mean for good reason red snapper put up a heck of a fight but in my opinion these guys do taste better they are a thinner fillet so if you like fried fish these are a lot better fried um and also they're open all year round right there's no closed season on them and they're just beautiful fish go ahead and put this guy in the box Catching the mingos and all is pretty cool, but we're going back down here with the jig. We've only lost about 12 today. Right. Mm, oh, come back. That, come back. The one fish I've been wanting to catch on the captain's boat. Nathan caught one. Kevin's caught one. Captain, we're on. There we go. We're on. Nathan's hooked up big up here. He's probably got one on. Right. The Cuban caught Come on. Don't break me this time. Don't break me this time. Oh, he's coming. He's coming up. No, come up, come up. <clears throat> Let's go. This is why I like slow pitch jigging, is it is fun. Light tackle. Oh, he's coming my way now. Come on. He's coming my way. Come on. Nathan went ahead and got the uh, fish for me. I just lost. <sighs> no, yours was much bigger than this one. <laughs> come up. All right, guys, we got Nathan from Southern Salt. He's Could be an Almaco. Come on. We're going to see what we got. Hey, grab that rod yep. from out of his way. Yep. Hand it here. I'll put it up over here. Come on. Come on. He's coming up now. We got any color yet? I don't see him. There, there we is, go. There he is. Uh, AJ, it's AJ. Woo! All right, guys. Appreciate you biting my jig. I appreciate the fight. It's always fun. And y'all imagine catching a legal one of these on a slow pitch setup like that. This guy right here might be 22, 23 inches to the fork, and they got to be 34 to keep. See you, buddy. Appreciate the fight. Boom! Down on bottom. Start jigging again. He, he missed the hook. Not as hard, but. On. On. That's a giant. That's a giant. Come on. It's so much fun. Mm. Can we get him coming our way? He's hugging down on the bottom right there. Come on. Come my way. 
I think Dustin just lost a big fish, y'all. <laughs> ah! We just lost another jig. <laughs> we just lost another jig. At this point, this is just financially irresponsible. It's not smart to drop any more jigs down. I mean, that's at least our seventh or eighth at $20 a piece. <laughs> it's that smaller reel. Uh, he's heavy. We well, got a leader. There he is, guys. Hopefully, y'all can see him on the GoPro. Y'all, Dustin has caught 32 sharks today. <laughs> he might have a Guinness World Record for the most length of shark caught in a single day. Yeah, yeah. That one's smaller than the first two. Oh, no, he ain't. He's not out. No, that's a big boy. Oh, well, that puts me close to 30 feet worth of sharks today. Oh my goodness. That thing oh, gonna come and up Kat. and whip. It was a team effort on that one. There. What there kind of shark is. is that? Uh that might be a Caribbean reef. Mm -hmm. Hang on guys. Whoa, oh, 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 no! Oh, Summer! And that's how you do it. <laughs> it broke? No. It, straight look at that guys. So, look at that on our hook. Don't totally it. straighten it out. That's the first time I've ever had an owner straighten out. Good. Never yes. have they ever done that. And that that's that, a lot. See that, guys? That is crazy. Of course, that was crazy. a big shark. Oh, All right, y'all. We are making our way back toward the pass. Made one more stop. Me and Nathan are both giving it one more shot. Jigging. Mine's heading down. I'm tight. I'm tight. Nathan's hooked up. I should be right behind him. Come here. That sounded really bad. Oh. I'm on. Mm, he came back to get it. Uh, he spit it and then came back and ate it. You ought to see the screen. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, I don't think yet. It ain't shark. It's a big AJ. Alright, guys. Besides that another spot, we're going to do some jigging here. Nathan's already hooked up, so let's see what we can get. Alright, now it might be short. I'm going to break my rod. I think it was a shark. I think it just, I don't know. Come back for it. Yeah, he hit it. There he is. Ah, he dropped it. Come on. There he is. Nathan's got the shark distracted. Let's get you up here. Come on. Oh, this way. Not that way. Oh. The anchor. There we go. Yeah. Oh, let's play the fish today, guys. Are you, what you want. It's not a shark? No. What? No. Look at that AJ. Oh! Yeah! Oh my gosh. Oh. Dude. Oh. <laughs> On the lure you didn't like. Oh my goodness. Y'all. We have fished so hard today. All right, y'all, look at this beautiful, beautiful AJ right here. Just landed it. This is what we're out here for. This is an absolute brute of a fish. You make mine look small. This is my PB AJ, and you make mine look like a baby. <laughs> yeah. All right, buddy. We shall see you later, my man. Proper way to launch a fish right there. The only G to get it done today is 190 gram Johnny G. <laughs> oh man, I've been throwing that jig all day and have not got a single bite on it. Lost all my good jigs, decided to throw that out there. And man, what an incredible catch. All right.
right, y'all. So we are back in the past now. Had an amazing, amazing trip with Captain Ryan back there behind the wheel. If y'all are looking for an awesome trip, you're out of town, you're looking to vacation out here or whatever. If y'all are looking for a good time, check him out. Once again, all his information will be in the description. We're gonna head in now. We do got a few fish. That'll make a nice little meal right here. So there's a restaurant right up here where we uh, parked at that accepts fish. So we gotta go clean them and we're gonna bring them the fish. Yep. And uh, I'll show y'all that, that process. Also, we are over here at the Harbor Tavern. Got us a couple of bags of fish right there. <laughs> I guess we just walk in and hand it to them. I don't really know what the process is with that. But yeah, we'll uh, go in here check it out see how that works and i'll come back to y'all so they went ahead and took our fish to the back the hogfish we had two hogfish for the day we're gonna be having that blackened and the rest of the mingos we just got a fried platter coming out with that a couple of appetizers my buddy over here is pigging in he, he hasn't even offered me any yet how, how rude is that i don't want to interrupt your video <laughs> all right so the fried fish has now come we got a little bit of tartar sauce, some lemons. That's our, we only got, had three mango fillets? Because that was the first batch, there's more coming. Okay. <laughs> so we, we got one and a half tacos. That is gonna come with this little taco packet right here. So we're gonna have some fried fish tacos. Yeah. See how it goes down. All right, so we got us a little bit of a tortilla here. Take some of that. Got our fried fish. This is the B liner. Take that right there. We got us some pickled onions, a bit of cabbage, and a little rumelade sauce of some sorts. All right, moment of truth. After a long, hard day on the water, I pretty good. <laughs> That sauce is killer. Is it? Oh yeah, with the fish. Mm. Y'all, this just hits different because we just hopped off the boat, walked over here, like the cleanup is done. We don't have, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. There's nothing left to do. We eat our meal and uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. But pretty awesome to be able to step off the dock and come right over here yeah. and have them cook up your food. All right, y'all, so our hogfish just came up. That right there is the blackened hogfish. Gonna pretty much do the same thing. We're gonna build us a taco, give you a taste test. All right, hogfish. I think the fried fish is seasoned better. Really? I do. I think the fish is good. The hog, this is my first time trying Cuban hogfish, yep. and uh, it's a really, really clean taste of fish. No gaminess at all to it, like it's very clean. But I feel like the blackened is just not seasoned enough, I guess. But anyways, still good. Uh, I'm about to smash this. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. If y'all did, leave me a like, comment with any questions, subscribe if you haven't already. See y'all next time.